All right, party people, welcome back to another amazing episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by rabbitcomics.com, the Believe Podcast Network, and our good friends over at betonline.ag. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and we have a very special guest in the building. You may know her from films such as Man on Fire, Pitch Black, Silent Hill 2, London Has Fallen, here to promote her brand new movie, Life Upside Down, coming out in theaters and on demand January 27th. We have the incredibly talented, amazing, the wonderful Rada Mitchell joining us. So, uh, Rada, you play Clarissa Cranes in the upcoming Life Upside Down, coming out in theaters and on demand on January 27th. What was it that first attracted you to this film? Was it the amazing cast? Was it the script, a combination of the two? Like, how did you get into this project? Um, well, I mean, I think the main impetus was I'd always been talking about doing a project with Cecilia because we'd been friends for a while and I'd always admired her as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Um, and secondly, it was during, you know, the pandemic, like 19, 2019, I think, the end of that. And it was just that really weird time where everybody was locked in their house and she was like, so I've got this script and Bob wants to do it. And, um, and so there was sort of an excitement to that. We were unclear whether we were making anything that would be, you know, at all editable. Um, and the invitation was just to do something for a couple of days, but then, you know, the process took a bit longer um, and it was sort of a welcome experiment during kind of crazy times. And I think the movie kind of, you know, gives you a real sense, not of nostalgia about that, but kind of an opportunity to reflect because it feels like we're all breathing fresh air now, but we all went through something pretty intense. And um, the movie is a genuine portrait of that moment. Uh, very, very well said. That's going to be one of my other questions is, you know, now that we're back to a, a quote unquote normal lifestyle, you know, to some of us, it seems like it was only yesterday that we were all locked in and doing Zoom calls and playing board games with loved ones. And I think this yeah. is uh, a great love story to, uh, you know, whether if, you know, a lot of a lot of my friends I know had kids during the pandemic, you know, and they have no yeah. idea what that was like. And having <laughs> this kind of thing, you know, really as a reminder of what love was like, you know, as far as just love, relationships friendships and all that and trying to maintain that during a pandemic really virtually for the most part of it you know yeah. it's done very well now when i was watching the movie during the end credits i thought it was super cool how you could see everybody now and this is going to be my next question was was everybody using yeah. like their own cameras and like ipads or was this all just supplied by cecilia and then she had to like you know do all the editing yeah. well, no, she was had that? um she had a proxy she okay. had her her husband actually um who would come over with mask on and you know full regalia and a little, a friend of mine who was the, um, I guess, the associate producer on this, but he's a young actor. He's also in the movie. And they would come over and that was the crew, I guess. Um, and then she would like scream down the thing <laughs> at him, telling him where to put the, there was one camera that was the iPad and okay. one, one that was, one was for communicating and the other was for shooting. So that was the conceit of the process um, and, you know, was very efficient in keeping everybody safe in kind of a weird time. Um, and also kind of gave us a certain liberty because they, the cameras were very small, obviously. They were phones. And I think the main point to keep a kind of consistent look to the piece was to always just do these still frames. Mm -hmm. um, and that was sort of how she kind of kept it looking like a film. Um, but other than that, it, it was very spontaneous, you know, um, very, very spontaneous. Sure. Sure. I mean, that's Bet online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season, everything from NFL playoffs to pro and college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You'll always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at bet online with live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to our website today or use your mobile device to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use promo code BELIEVE 
that is B-L-E-A-V, to receive your rewards. BetOnline.ag, where the game starts. Sure, sure. I mean, that's what I, another thing I think I love about this movie is the fact that you, you feel like you're there with all the characters and it, you yeah. know, kind of the thing throughout the film. Now, how was it acting out scenes, you know, knowing that, like, you know, how did, how was that process like as far as was the other actors that you were in the scene with? Because I noticed in a couple shots, you could see that you're on, you know, you're doing like a FaceTime with, with Dan. Yeah, we really were. That's not CGI. We, oh, we wow. were doing that was how we shot them. Um, so we would, yeah, Danny would be maybe, yeah, there were times when you would just shoot yourself, like sure. if you were doing the, the Zoom call or something like that. So there were lovely kind of sequences where it was nighttime and Danny was on the thing and I was, you know, and that's how we did it. So the schedule was very kind of impromptu, you know, are you available at blah time? Uh, after dinner, we're going to come over and <laughs> like shoot a scene. <laughs> um, so it kind of were there and there is this kind of absurdity to it and everybody does look kind of ridiculous. Um, with, that's kind of Celia's lens uh, and I, that's what I kind of appreciate about her filmmaking, that there's an absurdist aspect to it. Um, but there's also a sense of uh, a kind of reality and because it looks kind of homemade, there's a real sense that it's kind of real, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like not, not real in the sense that this is some reality television by any means, like you're watching a real film kind of being made in real time. And I think that's what made it so exciting. And, you know, as I mentioned, it seems like all this stuff happened a long time ago, but to some of us, it was, you know, just a year ago, you know, a year and a half ago. So it's still, yeah. Well, the book ended the story we she did after, you know, things were open again. The, there was a gallery and we were able to sort of shoot those scenes and it was kind of like, oh, we all get to like meet in person. <laughs> <laughs> like It was kind of like a reunion, like from this weird trauma that everyone had been through um, collectively, globally, and then a kind of a celebration at the end. Um and uh, the way she shot that was great too. It was all like one camera movement, mm -hmm. um, a little bit like a play. So, yeah, there was always an there was always an interesting challenge in it, and a kind of experimental aspect to it that was appreciated, I think, by all of us. Yeah, yeah. So the movie, it, you know, begins and ends in the Galleria. So was that, you know, all filmed in one day? And was that the first time that you that you and the rest of the cast, like Bob and everybody else, actually got to meet in person? Uh, I've met Danny a few times, like sort of knew Danny, um, but I hadn't met Rosie, so that was fun. And then I had never met Bob in real in real life, so that was yeah, that was when we got to meet, and it was great actually. That day it was like really nice opportunity to kind of get to know people. Right now, did you wait for the rap party to be for that day, or did you rap via Zoom? <laughs> I think that was the rap party. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> A two years later rap party kind of thing. Yeah. Nice. Now, in terms of you personally, you know, during the pandemic, what were some things that you did just to try to stay sane and keep yourself busy? Was it, you know, still doing FaceTime? Was it board games? I love the scene where you're learning how to box with the reflex ball with that. I think it was, <laughs> pennant. Were you, was that something that you were super into as well? Like, tell me a little bit about what you were doing the, during the pandemic. A lot of what we were doing is in the movie. <laughs> like, we were doing uh, boxing with the thing and uh -huh. meditating and vegetable gardening and like um yeah those were kind of the activities what else drawing I was drawing a lot okay um I wasn't writing anything but um yeah I was trying to do kind of not too not too heady stuff like watching a lot of comedies you know things that were kind of like in the moment and not very cerebral Okay. Okay. Now you got, uh, you know, over 81 acting credits to your name, incredible movies like the crazy silent Hill, man on fire, Olympus has fallen. You're really a great actress that can touch on all different kinds of genres. And I've had a couple of our fans ask, is there a particular genre that just excites you a little bit more than others? Or you just, you know, really just want to sink your teeth into the role, no matter what genre that it is. Well, second question. Yeah, I prefer to just, you know, be immersed. But, but honestly, you know, I think action mm -hmm. is underrated, like, because uh, action is fun. Mm -hmm. You've got sort of athletic aspect to it. There's, you know, the high stakes drama to it. There's a bit of ego to it, especially if you're like a heroic character or something like that. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'd say probably ultimately action is probably the most fun for an actor. Okay. 
All right. And is there any particular role that you found incredibly challenging in either the action or horror genre where you have to run around and do a little bit more physicality, I guess you could say, compared to other uh, uh, roles? Well, I mean, I never felt like I got to really be the, you know, the action hero, I guess. There's a little frustration there. But, you know, Pitch Black was very, was kind of Mm action-y. And even this movie I did, The Surrogates, I was playing a robot, but she had some kind of like athletic sequences. Um, Whenever, like, even in in, um, Silent Hill, I was like strung around, like flying around on this gimbal thing at one point. Like, (laughs) all that stuff is really fun. Um, And uh, I think, you know, actors, you know, they should look for those opportunities because it's kind of an amalgamation of different skills, including, you know, acrobatics and athletics and things you wouldn't normally engage in um, and you have to train for. Um, combined with, you know, getting your lines out, you know, it, it's, it's fun. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure it would be really fun to do a musical, you know, with dance sequences, just where there's a, a culmination of, of different skills, um, certainly challenging um, and fun. Yeah, I probably would love to do a musical, you know, I'm not, I probably wouldn't be very good in one, but oh, I'm sure I would have a lot of fun singing and dancing and acting. You know, and shooting guns. There you go. <laughs> Musical with guns. I like it. Where you could be the action yeah. star and sing, do a little yeah. song and dance. I know what I'd really like to do is like <laughs> an inverted, an inverted kind of thing that was like a musical tragedy, you know, yeah. something that was like a drama but with like musical sequences. So that would be interesting. There you go. We could do a uh, La La Land is Falling. So that way yes. you can sing yes. and yes. dancing and the action. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, you know, being a, a pop culture podcast like our Zero Dark Nerdy, we always love to know what is it that that uh, the people that we're interviewing love as far as fandom goes, whether if it's music, movies, TV shows, you know, whether currently or in the past that you came up with, you know, what are just some of your, your top things that you, for lack of a better term, like geek out about? And that's just your bread and butter. And anytime you're at a, like, at a dinner and you want to have a conversation about something, this is going to be the topics when it comes to pop culture. Oh, well. I don't know if I'm like geeking out, but I'd like to be in or be involved in a um, murder mystery story. Okay. okay. I feel like, I feel like that's a genre that has sort of found, found a moment. And I think now it's time to do smaller scale projects in that context. Um, and I think they could be quite, I don't know if you've seen um, triangle of sadness. I have not. I have not. Ah. Okay, it's an interesting character portrait with like kind of weird characters. And I feel like you could make these sort of smaller budget, but very rock and roll um, murder mystery stories. And I think that could be a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, because I do love some Knives Out. Uh, what is it? Murder yeah. and Orient. But they're all big budget. And can you imagine like a more rock and roll? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, for <laughs> sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, so we only got about a minute or two left. I always want to, you know, just ask, is there anybody that you just want to give shout outs to, you know, in terms of just this film or just in general, you know, we always like to make this a little bit more personal for the people that we're interviewing, you know, just any kind of last minute shout outs to friends, family, whether cast crew, uh, or whatnot, you know, oh, well, yeah, you know, my dad's in this movie. Uh, really? so yeah. And my mom. So like, say hi to them. <laughs> I'm sure they'd appreciate it. <laughs> Sounds good. Rada Mitchell, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check out Life's Upside Down, Life Upside Down, January 27th, streaming as well as in theaters. We do appreciate it. Looking forward to that murder mystery action musical that you will be Me starring too. here in the next few years. But again, thank you so much for your time. You've been fantastic, and we're big fans. So thank you so much. Thank you. And anger management? Fuck anger management.